We're here at McBain Mill in North Carolina on a, as you can see, a beautiful snowy day with my friend Roy Underhill. Hey Chuck. Roy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roy taught me how to make my first dovetail and we're here to see his place today. Yeah, we'll take a look around. Well, come on, let's yeah, go. All right, very good. And not sure when this was built, they say 1850, but looking at the machinery, it looks like 1870. Because it didn't have a an over, you know, kind of water wheel, the very picturesque wooden one. Yeah. It was a um, turbine here. And they did just everything. Uh, ginning cotton, uh, this is grinding corn, stuff like that. It was actually a furniture factory over here. And all of this... Uh, was restored, you know, and made into this very beautiful romantic place by a metal artist, Ruffin Hobbs. Uh, all through the, you know, I guess, last 30 years of his life, he worked on this place. But some of the equipment's still here. We've got the, uh, we're ready to crank this up. I think a little WD-40, and this will be in, yeah, you well, think. What's this, Roy? Well, think how fast this tractor had to be going to run that deep into that tree. I mean, it just had to be hauling. <laughs> it's a good thing the tree was there to hit the shop. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, 1921, um, what is it? It's a McCormick Deering. And actually this was, uh, this is here, well, it's kind of the metaphor, isn't it? It's the old machine, uh, the power <laughs> equipment. But it, it's here because of uh, climate change. Uh, the droughts started in mid-century and they started using this to run the cotton gins and the, uh, the press equipment and the sawmill because the water power was just getting more and more unreliable. Well, this is of course just the gin, the cotton gin uh -huh. that they had here. And here's the, the screw. Uh, <laughs> so it's, right. it's a big one. So of course they gin the cotton here and they say uh, wagons would line up all along the road, mm -hmm. all the way down here. And sure. whether it was two in the morning or whatever, you know, you'd wait with your cotton in the wagon. Right. And when they rang the bell at the mill, that was your turn, your signal. Yeah, you would go in and get your cotton, because when them cotton balls get rotten, you know, you got to get out there. Right, so, yes. So we've got a whole lot, and over there, there's uh, that rock rubble. Uh, that's the old bridge, the old, old road from the 1800s went uh, and crossed right there's down there where all that rock is, and that little bit of rapids right there. That's wonderful. So to have this place here to work on, and you can see the... What just a view! Wonderful. Isn't that great? You can just imagine just sitting here working... Uh, watching as the creek flows on down there. Let's Roy, walk up what's here. This house? Yeah, this is the uh, Miller's Cottage, and they very uh, wisely put it up here on the hill because during the highest water of the uh, Hurricane Fran, uh, the water came right up here to the foundation. And so it's about, uh, oh, I'm guessing. Uh, eight foot higher than the mill, so even though <laughs> this, this was it. But this is where the miller lived, and of course that was uh, uh, the mill where all, all the work was done. This, however, is gonna be the, I have my office up here now, but I'm getting it fixed up inside. This will be the uh, guest cottage for instructors that come out here. So when I have the teachers come, yes. uh, they'll have a place to stay. And if they want to stay up late and drink and share wisdom with their students, <laughs> they have their own place. What Roy reads. Let's see what we got. London Lane. Oh, we got just about everything you need here. All the, all the knowledge of woodworking, all in. <laughs> This is just volume one of the history of pit sawing in France. <laughs> so, look how wonderful. Wow. Wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm.